Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Brandy here again, AKA Southern Mama. And in today's video, we're gonna get you guys some cleaning motivation, specifically post vacation cleaning motivation. And I'm hopping right in here with some laundry. I usually try to do laundry while we're actually still on vacation, usually our last night there if we've booked a place with a washer and dryer, but this time I just wasn't up to it, so I decided to save it all for when we got home. Once I had the laundry going, I did need to do my floors. I vacuumed before we left, and as you guys know, I have to do this every couple of days because we do have a cat. So I knew after being gone for almost five days, this was gonna be needed. And I also needed to wash the floors as well. If you guys didn't watch last week's vlog, we did spend a week at the Outer Banks. I'll link that down below if you guys wanna go back and watch it. We saw wild horses, we visited a couple of lighthouses. The trip was a blast and we can't wait to go back. I definitely recommend it. If you guys are looking for a great vacation spot, the Outer Banks doesn't disappoint. I'm gonna go ahead and link my Instagram down below too. We took tons of pictures while we were there, things that we just couldn't fit in the vlog. So if you guys wanna check those out, they're over on my Instagram. Instagram. We even got pictures of the horses that we saw chilling on the beach. It was an amazing experience. How do you guys handle cleaning around vacation? I usually try to make sure everything in my house is in order before I leave so I can come back and not really have to do much. But this time I knew since I didn't get the floors washed before I left and we do have the cat that I was really going to need to tackle both of those things as soon as I got back. Okay guys, there's a video I've been contemplating for a while and I'd really like to know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this, if it's something you'd want to hear, and that video is around how I go about earning extra income. As you guys may know, my husband started his own business recently, so I've kind of been the breadwinner for the past almost two years in our home and there are things I do to earn extra income and I would love to make a video maybe around the top three to five things that I do to do that um, and one of them is actually tied into this floor jet here that I'm using to clean the floors. So aside from the income aspect tied to this floor jet, which I can talk about in another video, I actually got to keep this floor jet free of charge as part of a user study that I participated in where they sent me the floor jet, I made a couple of videos, I tried it out, I sent them my feedback on it, and the floor jet itself has been pretty awesome. I used something like a Swiffer wet jet before where all the power for that was really on my body and it hurt my back. This is powered and it really does all the work for you. You'll see here we had an area of the floor where I'm not sure it looked like something had been spilled. I'm not sure what it was, but the floor jet got it right up. I didn't have to use any elbow grease. Basically, it's similar to um, any other floor cleaning system in that as you move forward, you pull a trigger to spray and then as you come back, it has a brush that rolls and suctions up the dirty water and um, anything that was on the floor. It does come with one battery pack and one charging station. It comes with the brush. Mine even came with some solution to try it out with. The battery lasts about 30 minutes and there are two modes you can run it on. There's an eco mode and then there's a heavy duty mode. I generally run it on heavy duty just because I wanna make sure my floors are extra clean. And the battery lasts about 30 minutes. When I do that, I can usually get my uh, downstairs done as well as our two bathrooms upstairs. So it is on the market now, and it looks like they may offer some other stuff with it now as part of an introductory deal. So I'll go ahead and link it down below. This is in no way sponsored. I don't get anything from this. I just wanna make your cleaning lives easier. And this is something that did that for me. Honestly, I hadn't planned to dust, but since I vacuumed and washed the floors, I saw some cat hair on the coffee tables and couldn't help myself, so here we are. I did wanna show you guys this cute whelk shell that my son got on our trip. We were just cruising down the beach on the horse tour and the tour guide pulled over, pulled this out of the surf and gave it to my son. It was the best souvenir ever. And 
last but not least, here we are a little bit later in the day. We had HelloFresh for dinner and I'm just cleaning up the kitchen. I just can't stand going to bed with dishes in the sink. I have no idea why. When my kitchen's clean, I just feel at peace and it's much easier to rest for the night. you guys are enjoying this video so far please like and subscribe if you are and share with any of your friends who you think may need some cleaning motivation like I mentioned earlier I am linking Instagram down below I have a Facebook page as well so I'll link that down below and I do share there too when I post to YouTube That's it for this video y'all. I did want to close out by showing you this piece that I got from Redline Steel. They have tons of awesome home decor pieces. I'll go ahead and link them down below if you guys are interested, if you guys are ever looking for anything. But I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a great week. Bye!